Not sure if you've heard the news, but Webflow has just released a plugin for Figma. And this is probably one of the best plugins that you're ever going to find on the Figma platform. And I don't know if you can pick up my enthusiasm through the camera, but I'm super excited about this plugin. Now let me show you how you can translate your Figma designs to Webflow in just a few clicks. So to get started, head over here to your resources and under the plugin tab, look for Figma to Webflow. Then when you find the plugin, click on it and make sure that is by Webflow Labs. Once you found the right plugin, just hit run and it will open this pop-up over here. Here, just go ahead and click next, next, next and connect account. And this will open this tab where you need to connect your Figma account to your Webflow account. So if you don't have a Webflow account yet, I left the link down below in the description so you can click on it and create a Webflow account. Also, after you create your account, in case you don't have this view where you see your sites, that's because you haven't created a project yet in Webflow. So to create a new project or a new website, just go ahead to Webflow, make sure you, that you're on dashboard. And from here, from this button, just click on it, click on new site, select the blank one, just give it a name. For example, Dennis Figma to Webflow. Hit create, and this will create your new project. Now, if we go back to where we need to authorize Webflow to access Figma, you'll see that if we refresh this, our new project will show up here. So in case you don't have any project showing up here, make sure you create one in Webflow. So now we can just select the project that we want to sync our designs to, authorize the app, and that's it, we are done. Now, if we go back to Figma, we're gonna see a confirmation screen and just hit, let's get started. And that's it, that's all we need to do to start syncing our Figma designs into Webflow. So if you go back to Figma, you'll see that I have two designs. One is using their guidelines. So this one is created using the guidelines that they provided. By the way, I've left the link down below in the description as well, if you want to read more. And the left one is the one that does not follow the guidelines because I want to show you how it looks when all the designs will work properly and when you have errors. So now if we go on our first design and if we select here the website that we want to convert this to if you click on it you will see this here and this means that you have errors and when you copy the designs they will not work as expected so to transfer this to webflow all you need to do is to just hit copy to webflow just wait for it to process the assets and then head over to your webflow design open the navigator and make sure you select the body and just hit command V. And this will paste your designs. Now, as I previously mentioned, because I have some errors, you will see that the design is not working properly. It's not working as we would expect. So if we delete this, and if we go back to our Figma and just copy the one that we created using their guidelines, head back to Webflow and copy paste this one, we will see that this one works as expected. So you can see that it's fully responsive and it works. Obviously, you will need to do some tweaks as it will not be perfect, but this is amazing because this will save you so much time when you transfer your designs. Now, a point that I want to raise here is that these elements, like everything that you see here, these classes are actually the same ones that you use in Figma. So all these items over here, like everything that you have here, it's exactly the same as the ones that you created in Figma. So when you create the elements in Figma, make sure you name them correctly because those will translate to classes in Webflow. So this is why you need to be very careful when naming all your layers. Now, another thing to add here is that that responsiveness that you saw, it's all thanks to the auto layout. So the way it works, like when you sync the design with Webflow, is that this auto layout, like these properties from auto layout, are correlated with these properties in Webflow. Basically what they're doing is that both Figma and Webflow are using the Flexbox standard, which is being used now by big companies like Google.com, Apple.com, Stripe, and many more. And this is why this plugin can take your designs and make them responsive in Webflow. Now, if you're not familiar with auto layout in Figma, if you want, I have a video, it's linked down below in the description where I talk about how you can get started with auto layout in your designs in Figma. Now, please do me a favor and share this with every designer and every solopreneur or entrepreneur, you know, or company, because this can save them so much time. I think of myself when I first started creating the UX Lab Academy, it actually took me a super long time just to translate my Figma designs 
into Webflow. So be kind and share this with your fellow designers as this will save them so much time. And with this being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'm gonna see you pretty soon in the next video. Take care, bye.